Is it worth buying JDCom stock in 2022? What's going on with Chinese stocks? The listing and regulatory risks. I try to make my videos neutral to not provoke anyone to hurry up and sell or buy. Don't ever hurry and do emotional trades. If you do this, you will lose your money. This time it will be hard to sound neutral because I want to talk about the listing risks. Of course, I can't know what SEC is going to do, but they already delisted a few Chinese stocks one year ago. China Mobile, China Telecom and China Unicom. If it happened to some stocks already once, it can happen to others. So if you want to buy Chinese stocks, it's better to buy them on Hong Kong market. Then you don't need to worry about the listing risks. The ticker for JDCom stock on Hong Kong market is 9618. Just need a broker that gives access to the Hong Kong market. So JDCom, B2C business to consumer Chinese online retail company, formerly called 360 Buy. JD is short for Jin Dong. Some people say that JDCom is like Chinese Amazon. No, it's Amazon is American JD.com. The company also invests in artificial intelligence, robotics, autonomous cars, what investors love much. Recently, the company has opened two fully robotic stores in the Netherlands. It works without people. Everything is collected and stored using robotics installations and conveyor belts. You download the application, order, the robots collect everything. You come, scan a barcode and another robot gives you an order. The company plans to open two more stores in Amsterdam and another city in the Netherlands. The company has recently started testing robotic delivery services, building drone delivery airports, as well as operating driverless delivery by unveiling its first autonomous truck. All of this sound very exciting, but there is no guarantee that all of these projects will have financial success. So I expect that the company's revenue will keep growing very fast, but the company's profit margin will keep being very low. And according to the forecasts, this is exactly what will happen. Third quarter reports from Chinese tech companies provided insight into how tighter regulation has impacted their businesses. The abolishment of the choose one practice led to a decrease in Alibaba's revenue growth rate and also to straightening the positions of competitors. The sellers who used to be tied to Alibaba came to them and this explains the successful results of JD and not very good Alibaba's results. Uh, someone can say that Alibaba is still more interesting investment because of higher profit margin and I somewhat agree, but according to some investors, the Chinese government favors JDCom over Alibaba, which basically means they have lower regulatory risks. Okay, let's look at the stock indicators. Price to sales ratio is lower than zero, price to book 3.3, price to cash 3.9. If this was an American company, I would say that it's very cheap. But considering that this is a Chinese company, I say that the valuation is just fine. All Chinese stocks have higher risks because of many reasons, like lack of transparency, geopolitical risks, regulatory risks. So I think it's totally normal that uh, American big tech companies have higher valuation because simply American companies have greater reliability. The conclusion is very simple. JDCom is a very cool company. I have almost no complaints, very strong fundamentals, great financial health. The only question is how profitable those projects the company invests in will be. But in any case, the company still has its core business e-commerce. People started to buy online during the pandemic more than ever and this became a habit. The pandemic actually changed people's habits. And China right now is easy in monetary policy, while America is tightening monetary policy. China did it a year ago, so now they are easy in monetary policy and Chinese stocks should perform better this year.